to date, I've never really been a big a big Julia Gillard fan. You know, I always felt that I should because, you know, being a woman and being a feminist, I did hold great hopes. Like when she nobbled Kev, I thought, ooh, she's got some attitude. Yeah, way to go, sister, coming in there after Mr. Popular, taking him out. But it was kind of like, it was never as impressive as she'd been as the number two to Kev. She was very impressive. And I thought, isn't that sad that as number one, she's not as good as she was as the number two. Until the other day, when Julia just blitzes the world with the speech we women have been waiting to hear from those morons in question time, those misogynist pigs. I mean, I, I had to play the speech a couple of times. I was proud. I was going, go, Jules. She looks like, look how good look here she is. Oh, it's not a good outfit, but this is my Julia doll, which I've now got as a role model for my daughter. You know, a role model for women around the world standing up against the hypocrisy and misogyny of men in Parliament using sexism and their Oh, their abhorrence at sexism as a way to manipulate and manoeuvre public opinion, not because they care about sexism, but because they think it makes them right. And that's probably the most terrific. So anyway, that was all going well and I was feeling pretty good and everyone's looking at that. But then, of course, what happens is they get in trouble, the Labour Party next day. This is like some sort of misogyny tug of war, proving who's the most misogynist. Julia says, you know, there's no way. I'm actually, you know, I will tolerate um, misogyny or sexism anywhere in the speech. So they go, okay, we'll take her out on that. Anything slightly misogynist or untoward in the Labour Party, we'll take them out. You know, Tony Abbott anyway, he's the poster boy, isn't he, for misogyny? Here he is. <laughs> you know. Abortion, yes, abortion, that's the easy way out. Yes, it would have been for the rest of us if Tony Abbott's mother had had an abortion. Would have been good for all of us, probably. But she didn't, so now if she had to live with Tony, so do we. What a terrible thing to say, anyway. That is just the most horrible thing to say. Anyway, that's misogyny. He said that back as a health minister in 2004. Then they went on in the Liberal Party, the people that are really concerned now about what happened the other night at the, you know, at the union dinner that the Labour ministers didn't leave. Having a leader that they've elected that actually said that when he was a health minister, saying they're outraged because of some stupid joke a comedian made. I can't believe that, really. And he's here, like, it's like proving that they're the feminists. Like, suddenly the Liberal Party's reading Jermaine Greer with visits from the feminist fairy. Going, oh, no, we're feminists now. Can't you wait to see him at the Slut Walk or at Reclaim the Night in his My Body, My Choice t-shirt? Going, yay, watch out, Julia. We'll feminist you, yeah, feminist, feminist. But it is also... You know, they're really crazy, really. I mean, how they could even get this big thing about the comedian, really. I mean, I'm born, and I have to say, there's no defence of the comedians. We're indefensible. That's our job. We are offensive. Of course we're offensive. We offend everybody at some point. You can't help but be offensive. That's why comedians aren't politicians. We don't have platforms. We don't make decisions. We don't allocate money. We're probably the closest to urologists. We take the piss. Nobody should be held accountable for what we say. I'm not even accountable for what I say. Other comedians are. It just comes out. And most of it's shit anyway. <laughs> I mean, we're bloody dancing monkeys. We're not monkeys in suit. We're not important. I can't believe they make such a big deal about it anyway. Anyway. I'm just really upset, really, because finally I had one day, one day is all they gave us, of actually heralding Julia as our feminist icon, finally a minister, a prime minister standing up. The whole world was proud of Julia. <sighs> one day later they're saying, oh no, no, no. You know, they should have left. Julia said, you know, what she said, and if her minister stayed, but there was a bad joke made about Tony. Who, how can you not make a bad joke about Tony Abbott? He's built for comedy. And his female... I think personal assistant or, you know, whoever she was. But anyway, that they should have left. How can Julia be held account for whether or not her feminism and her stance on sexism and misogyny about whether or not a couple of blokes leave a union function? What, what's next? We go and audit the housework done by Labour ministers' wives. And if Julia doesn't go around, if it's not 50-50, I'm sorry, no, you're going to have to leave the party. What do you do? Audit in people's magazines and their, in their record collections or their, you know, you've got to audit their thoughts, you know? Makes you think, really, what's next? I'm bored of all this. I'm bored of all this argy-bargy. 
just get rid of this idiot here. This idiot has to go and get on with some politicking and get over this stupid farting. So bored of it all. I don't know what I'll do this afternoon. I'm just sick of everything. I might just go and have an abortion. Yeah, that'd be the easy option. Don't feel like doing the dishes. Just do an abortion. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm not pregnant. You know, Tony's right. Sometimes us women, even when we're not pregnant, we have abortions because they're so enjoyable and it's such an easy way out, you know. Anytime I feel like life's responsibilities are getting on top of me, I don't get acupuncture or a massage. I just have an abortion um, because it's the easy way out. And, you know, hey, who wouldn't take it? But Tony wishes he was taking one now. <laughs> Bye. Sorry about the outfit. I'm a bit worried because I've made Julia look like a pussycat doll. I don't have any, I don't have any of her suits. So anyway. <laughs> But this is pretty accurate. <laughs> the swimmers, you see. Action man. Oh no! Yes, anyway, there you go. <sighs> That's what happens with role models, they're so dispensable.